That, that all failures. Tinubu is a failure. Of course. As Give as us your man. reaction. How is Nigeria treating you? As you can see me, I've come down. I've leaned down. Mm. Yeah, uh, look, at, look at my belly. Mm. So I've come down. But you are, I see receipts uh, for your... I still want to message you. Yes. You message you. Yes, sir. That if I capture him by the side, yes. what I will do, what I will do him, him to do what I will do him, you will not believe his eyes. So if you catch Tinubu... If, if I capture him by the side... I for one lungu now. I will scatter his mouth. That man you used to promise Nigeria, promise and fail. Mm. Is what I'm saying. Mm. If I capture him by the side, I will deal with him. Mm. So you say if so you, you Jibo, so if the I say if you meet Tinubu for one corner, I you will go, deal with him properly. You will be, you go bitter. I will bitter. So sir, so give us your experience right now, say Nigeria. Like as what? a, what's the, as the country treating you? As you can see, people are hungry. This are not moving well. So not Tinubu, sir. Yes, of course. All right, did it. Thank you so it's much. It's been by the, by, by, the by, by the central government. Mm. So, make Tinubu come out now in the top. Make him come out, eh? Are you saying Buari Talk better to Tinubu? Uh, well, before, before, we say uh, Tinubu, uh, what is Buari? Buari? Buari na Ayon Bender, uh, uh, Madam. Yeah. Now we don't see Ayon Bender. Ayon Bender, Tinubu yes. na Ayon Bender. Ayon Bender. All right, David. Uh, Thank you, sir. 8,000 for 12 million yeah. Nigeria, yeah. which we know so we no go ever see. Instead of them to go carry the money, do refinery. They send up for first subsidy. And waiting with the subsidy, say fuel don't go high, so it don't cause hardship. Not before them to fix the refinery. They say they want share money for 12 million Nigerians. Yeah. They won't even increase inside the money. House of Assembly get their own. What? House of Assembly get their own. Say that uh, then the many one palliative 12 million. Then for agriculture, for uh, which they call them for flood, as in the same old system. Hey. As in the people don't get shame again. As in, and I even wonder, some people will even come out for television, they speak English, and they even feel say people they listen. Hey. I don't even understand people when they listen this kind of thing. For eight, seven, eight years, Buari stay, then they renovate the refinery. Which is for the four Nigeria refinery at the same time. Obi to build, renovate, motorway they drive, waste spoil. Just to repair eight years. Didn't move enter. First subsidy. He is going to use 500 billion for palliative. What happened to refinery? Before they remove this subsidy, before Buari come out, they come and tell us say whether now between January, February, May, say the refinery go work. Before this person left. Say don't finish, don't finish, go work. Now we don't start again. 500 billion. And that is how they are going to pay this 500 billion for eight years. Team go come out. For eight years. Okay. The money they discovered from uh, Emil Fili that he's remitting every every month to 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 Buari. That money no see that in that. That money see that. Yes. So can that money fix Nigeria refinery? Can that money fix Nigeria finally? Mm. So, oh, sir, some people are also accusing the president that it is an it's a means for him to recover the money used for election. How true is that, sir? Even before this election, now I don't tell people. Somebody will already make money. Come and see one contest election to do it. To make more money. To make more money, I be to help Nigeria. I don't understand. And the person come out with do or die affair. So they didn't even go to the extent to say that power is to be snatched by all means. And true, true, it don't snatch the power by all means. Nigeria has only paid for it. We don't enter the same loan. They know they pay you. It don't begin to take loan again. Add with the previous loan when Nigeria take. Who is going to pay for this loan? It's our Naira. Who is going to pay? So the same masses. So what do, what do you suggest? They should not take the loan or give palliative to Nigeria, channel the money to build money. You see the reason why we vote to be? Well, this is how states used to take loan constantly. But when Obi entered Nambara, he did not take loan. He run the states. He run this. There is money in this country. What did happen to the oil? Where would they sell? What did happen to the oil that we are selling that every time we go and borrow money up to the extent, borrowing money for to come for a subsidy that we can renovate the finery and have peace. And if this fair price will come that immediately, you go to the finery now. What they are doing, they will do as if they are painting. They will do as if they are painting. So more time they stop work. The same thing with worry. Oh, nothing they happen. Kaduna refine, nothing they happen. The same thing with Lagos, nothing they happen. In fact, we are tired of this. We are, we are tired of Nigeria. Yes, we are tired of it's all, it's all fraud. The mean is a fraud. What you're saying is fraud, sir. 
this, with this language would they speak fraud for a job like say in a new language for Nigeria. It has become Nigeria system. Thief, thief. It has that become Nigeria like system. They are, they are all thief, it has become man. Nigeria system. Mm. 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 And the, as in the worst of it now, they say people think say they can speak English that they are educated. Mm. That they will come out and be as, as though they are talking to animals. Mm. They are talk, just like today, the same thing with the electoral system. That we spend over 300 billion naira. Mm. Just a day that you are going to serve the people, you say you come up with glitch. After all the money we spend to conduct free and fair election, somebody come up today and say that there is a glitch in uploading results of the presidency. Mm. Nonsense. After the money we spent no and all the assurance given, mm. say there is a glitch. That uh, it's technical, te as in, in fact, it, it don't reach this thing, don't enter beating. <laughs> and they tell you to, when I see some people they talk for television, it's just like, just bring them out with serious beating. Serious beating. Yeah. Even today, somebody come and say that APC have 10 million youth registered. Only them. That uh, they have 40 million people registered under their party. Probably. That uh, if all of them should, how many votes APC get? APC get less than 10 million votes. He said uh, some of them no vote. Nobody, even the sand of this Nigeria, no will win election. Sand, small children, no will win election. So what you're saying is that the election tribunal will, will not have a head. It's all, you don't believe in Nigeria, the credibility of Nigeria justice system. I think uh, the way things are now, it's not really giving joy. Yes, it's not giving joy. There's no joy. Things are very costly. Go to the market, common man cannot even see food to buy. So say let the poor breed. So if you know the poor for Nigeria, know they breed again. For me, I don't think that the poor are breeding because... Uh, how can the poor man breed when there is no food for the poor man to eat? So, yes, uh, that is the increase of fuel because that increase of fuel affected every other commodity in the country. So you mean that the policy of this current administration is, is, is bad? Uh, for me, I think that is bad because uh, I feel for him to remove the fuel subsidy is good, but. I, to where they invest the money is the issue. As it mean they remove this money from the fuel subsidy and use it to repair our refinery, then that would have also helped to raise the power of the masses by bringing the price of fuel down. What do you say of the 8,000 palliative? Uh, for me, I think uh, that is the, the language of the politician. For me, I didn't see any any benefit for me i don't know how for yesterday that. the president addressed nigeria that he will provide bus building uh, state infrastructure in state like partner with transport companies that will be committing people community people from one state to another and within the state what do you think about that one sir? i think that is uh, that one will only create a uh, not uh, let me just say uh, uh, not permanent solution, but you just create some solution which is not what you want. So the major one for you now is to build refineries? To build the refineries and bring the price of fuel down. And it will now control the price of transportation. So you don't need to subside the price of uh, transportation. It will come down on its own. Yeah. Although Tinubu will be removed legitimately yeah. from the tribunal because there are the deficits are alarming. That I'm an APC supporter does not mean that the toll, the situation is not affecting me. Yeah. There is no special free station for me as an APC man to go there and buy in at a cheaper rate. It is a toll on every Nigeria, whether you are APC, you are PDP. So um, I legitimately, I want Tinubu to be ousted out completely. Military commander or, or tribunal? No, tribunal. We are practicing democracy. And uh, I want democracy to be. You understand, we have uh, done a lot for democracy to come. A lot of Nigeria wants the military regime because most of the things we have in Nigeria, the amenity, the stadium, the roads, the federal road, the hospital, the general hospital, we have been built by a military administration. And we have a, we, are, we say we are in a democratic, uh, democratic government. Nigeria said there's nothing tangible that the democratic uh, government have done for its, for its citizens. The issue is this. Democracy is the best form of government anywhere in the world. The West, they have been practicing it before us. We, we, we emulated it from them. But the issue is this. Our democracy, we have not been able to be institutions. 
powerful institutions, just like the judiciary, they don't have the autonomy of their own. The executive manipulates and influence every other arm of government. So what we want is a government that will build institutions, solidable institutions that will be there to function properly, to you know, a, a, a help democracy to function. You understand? So I don't think we going back to the military era is the best. Okay. Democracy is the best where you can, as a, a citizen, talk what you feel and you know act what, upon what you feel. But you, but you, you want to make the commodity noble. You want to noble removed. Legitimately, legitimately. Uh, your guy, oh, Tinubu, your guy. Let me tell you something. Yes. Tinubu, when he came in, we are one of those people who supported him. Mm -hmm. And we did that because we thought he has a lot of things to offer. Now the subsidy he removed. Yes, every sensible government would have done the same. But when you don't put measures in place on how to curtail the hunger, the strife, then it becomes very imperative for us, the citizens, to look elsewhere for for for, for betterment of the people. So removal is the betterment. Yes, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, yeah. you are, if the, the subsidy, you remove subsidy without making plans. plans, making alternative on how these people will survive. Let me tell you something, if you want good for people, uh, people of Nigeria or citizens of Nigeria and you allow them to die in hunger before go, that good thing will come. Yeah. Have you done any good thing? You understand? People are dying in their houses. People who cannot come out and beg are dying in their houses. So you don't tell me that because I'm a, P a APC member, I will say let us continue. Why will see people die? That is not our aim of coming to power. So if that our primary aim of coming to power is not being established, why are we here? That is my own and my own objective and annoyance too. So and now. You see, there are a lot of things happening in Nigeria, just like the bill that was brought up in the house for this man, Nam Dekanu, to be released. And the world has had to watch the bill. You understand? These are lawmakers. These are the people who brought there to represent us. They are the ones making laws. And the Court of Appeal has pronounced this man to be released. And these people making law, who thought, who we thought they are representing us, are just there representing their personal interest. And you said you will not release this man, even when the Court of Competent Judiciary have pronounced this man to go on bail. You refuse to release this man. So what are we talking about? Are you there representing us or your personal interests? You understand? And you allow non-state actors like uh, Asari Dokubo to make him pronouncement against a sitting governor. You understand me? You allow and the government security apparatus of the country kept quiet. Somebody who is a pronounced militant, a criminal is making a pronouncement against a sitting governor of a state yeah. and the government apparatus of the state kept quiet yeah. and they swallow it who can sink her so this is uh, what we are talking about when you allow criminals to take over government you allow criminals to maneuver to have their way yeah. in governance in position of power you see all this kind of criminality come up are you saying tinobu is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a criminal the man i thought he is is not what he is let me tell you something. This well, is I, the... people I know when he was the Lagos state governor. Yeah. You understand? But let me assume his age. But I'm telling you something. We are allowing criminality to take place. We are allowing criminality to take the stage, the center stage. The Asare Dokobo who know is a criminal, is a pronounced one. You allow him into the state house to come and make even the, the regretting statement against the, the, the uh, security apparatus of a state. And, it, the it, and you kept it on. You understand? So now I think, you know, when we, as a people, we have to tell ourselves the truth. You understand? We will not keep on because of tribalism or because of a, a religion. We we'll begin to take people for granted. Nigeria, how can a, a group of Yahoo boys? These people who have assembled a group of Yahoo boys, they are after their own pocket. Nigeria government, they are Yahoo. They are Yahoo boys. We are talking about not these people scanning people. These people are scanning their own citizens. You understand? They are Yahoo boys. You come out in the national television, you begin to talk as if you care for the people. You begin to say, let's allow the port to breach. But there is no provision. There is nothing on ground you have done to facilitate 
the poor from coming out of their hunger. It is very unbearable. Yeah. At this time, I am a father of three children. I have them to cater for. Yeah. How do they feed on daily basis? Yeah. You are talking of palliative. Let them use that money for palliative and pay for subsidy. Yeah. If they cannot go tell them an yeah. that comes with subsidy, yeah. let them use that money they want to pay for. Let me tell you something. If Tinubu government want to work, let him not do anything. Let him not be the road. Let him not bring a electricity. We don't want it. Let him continue paying for the subsidy. Since he will not sell off the refineries that are not workable, you understand? Yes, sir. To alleviate, let there be competition. You sell off these dead refineries that you are paying refineries, you are paying salaries. On staffs, on monthly basis. They are not working. They are not working. They are just sitting there idle. Sell it off. Let there be competition. Let private owners buy it and make it work. Before you see it, within a space of time, you will see people rejoicing again. But when there is this since they are not being put in place and you remove subsidy and you want people to begin to pay two million people. Two million people are paying for subsidy. Oh, let, me, let me ask the president. What has he been able to do with the money he accrued from the subsidy remover? For this few months he has done it. People say he's trying to recover his money. That is what he said. Because he will not tell me that that money of subsidy is being put into this place or this place. Let them not use palliative to deceive Nigerians. We are above that. They have said about this palliative when there was answers and they end up holding it. Hiding it in their warehouse. People were not, it was not accessible. And this time around, we want to bring it up again to deceive the gullible. We will not take it. We are wise now and we are wiser. Right. What we want is good governance. It doesn't matter the party we belong. The government at, at the center must deliver. Thank you very, very much. You so much. And we must also, uh, you know, applaud you people. Yeah. You people are the hope of the common man. I'm not talking about the judiciary. Yes. The, I'm talking about the, uh, the, the journalism. Yes, you people are doing a great work Thank because you. you are going about the nook and corner of Nigeria, making the people... For me, I don't think that the poor are breathing because uh, how can the poor man breathe when there is no food for the poor man to eat? So, yes, uh, that.